Hello guys, my name is Nox and, and welcome back to another episode of our Dial Town playthrough. Last time we took Karen to the fun fair and basically deceived the poor woman into thinking we liked her and, and said used her just so we could uh just so we could lay our eggs. Yeah. Th this time we're gonna go bother her at the bank. The poor woman. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. All oh, right, so ring the. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Nox, <laughs> why are you here? <laughs> hey, babe, I'm as they say in Nebraska back. Well, as they say at work, look, I'm at work. So, unless you have any important business with the DTCB today, sir. I don't understand, Karen. I thought what we had was... special. Special? You ditched me during the date. According to Jerry, it was to lay eggs in a nearby ditch. <laughs> I don't- oh god. I'm dreadfully sorry, Karen. I was just so heavily pregnant. Look, you can just leave and come back when it's less busy if you really want to have this conversation. I just can't have you occupying this space for this long without getting in trouble with my boss, after all. So, what'll it be? Oh my god, another route diverging choice? Man, a, a woman, she has to do what she has to do to get that bag, okay? I'm gonna come back later. Alright, alright. If I gotta come back, I'll be back. Fantastic, see you when you inevitably decide to return. We're transcending time and space. Hang on a second. Yeah, I was about to say. Have I been loitering here for 24 fucking hours? 25 continuous hours by my count, yeah. I... This must have just been some kind of mistake. On her part, or yours? Well, hers, I hope. Should I- should I go back in? I feel like telling you to get lost and making no effort to retrieve you is kind of a big fuck no response to that question, at least on Karen's part. On the other hand, do you have anything else you feel like doing today? So, back in I go. I must ring for Karen. Where? Where is the rope? See, that's really a good sign. Karen, you wench. Karen! I summon the bank harlot. Karen! What? Karen, the bell dangly boy, it is absent. I know because I took it off to stop you ringing it excessively. And yet... Oh, this is so you, Karen. Fine, use as much attitude as you want. Doesn't revoke your ban. Ban? I don't understand. See, the thing is, you ended up disappearing for like a whole day, and that gave me time to actually think. I realized that I really don't feel like dating a lime-hued, hexen-dippled knee. 
Neanderthal. So I just told security to put you on the remove from the premises list. Gay babies who are not allowed on the premises list. Oh dad, look it's me. I really try not to serve difficult customers, lifetime bans. But if your relationship with Jerry is anything to go by, you definitely just keep coming back. So, is this goodbye then? Yes, goodbye. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Shoo, ghost, get. This route is too complicated for my tiny brain. I am so fucking mad. Why? You go on exactly one and only one date with Karen. You're the romance equivalent of a free sample platter of deviled eggs. A green platter, made from various skins and leather stitched together. Oh, and your eggs smell like fragrant syrups and nectars. Besides, wasn't all of this just to gain entry to the fun fair, so you can unload your vile limescale coated offspring? What do you feel she could possibly owe you? You don't understand. I think I might love a her. You, <laughs> you love her. <laughs> no, I might love a her. You know, tender feelings and shit. Like you only hear about in chocolate and more sensual motor oil commercials. Oh, I see. A feeling, yes. I had no idea that you felt emotions other than craving lust in nectar? Nectar is an emotion? Well, you certainly seem to think it is. Speaking of... Aha, me nectar. Oh, Nox, I have to insist you don't do this. Fuck you, I do what I want. Nectar supreme. Stop calling it that. If I want to think outside the box, this is how I'll do it. This won't end well. This will end well. All Zelda ends well. Durr. This was such a poorly conceived plan, and you were alerted all of this prior to its execution. Science, shout Lobe. Hmm. Maybe I don't seem dedicated enough? Like I don't want her enough? Because I left and didn't demand she come with me? I gave up too easily. I mean, it also might be the six nipples thing or the egg laying. Silence. I need to think outside of the casket. I must astrally project ideas from my brain to reality. Nox, this is already going as poorly as it could possibly go. Please just come to your pants and fall asleep before you really do serious damage to yourself. Silence, booming voice. Wait, I know. I need to make a grand gesture. But what? Oh god, please no. This is the- There's no longer any viable solution to this problem. You need to be contained. I really don't like where this is going. I think I may have had a lapse in my judgment. I probably should have just made her leave the bank. I was too nice. I was naive. I was naive to think that kindness would solve this issue. This is the end. Let us see if we die. Decide to guzzle many packs of batteries to charge up your brain. I need to energize myself. Batteries. Nox, what are you going to do with those? Devour. 
Oh, come on, didn't. Uh, Nox, stop this. One more. One more till I hit 14 packs in me gullets. Just one more. But, but the battery is clearly not meant to be eaten. I'm not chewing them, so it's good. I just need a me electric lights. Oh god, my stomach. This is AIDS, what's happening? Oh my god, my wretched gut feels like it's li liquidizing from within. You know, it probably is. Those batteries did all contain concentrated sulfuric acid. I doubt even your cryptid time is accustomed to consuming that. Oh god, oh fuck. I flew too close to the sun. Thirteen mere packs of these would have sufficed. Alright, alright, I get it. You're dumb and you're dying, sure. Stop drawing this out, I got places to be. Got a date with another disembodied thought being. She's an orb. Uh, maybe Hell's absolute wretchedness is just overhyped as hell. <laughs> Get it? As hell, I said. That's the batteries, you see. Haha, <laughs> I'm so wise. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> The ending where you overdose on battery acid. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta redo that, so. <laughs> I will see you guys back at the bank, and I'm actually just gonna make her come with us this time. Okay, I figured it out, I figured it out. After a bit of trial and error, I think I figured out how to change things around so it doesn't repeat the same thing again. We're going to attempt to convince Karen to leave work. But Karen? What if we both left, like, together? What? You're asking me to just leave my job? Why on earth would I do that? Because you clearly hate your job, firstly. And because you clearly want to have this conversation in the first place. Uh-huh. So what makes you think I want to have this conversation? You could have called security on me from the get-go. But you didn't. Uh, I mean... Come on, Karen. It'd be so easy. Just pack your shit and bail. Work be damned. Go feral with me. You know what? Fine. You're right. I do hate my job. I do hate handling other people's sweaty green spendable paper all day. Fine. Go wait outside. I'll follow you out right after I explain to my boss that I'm leaving my post. Cowabunga, see you outside, girlfriend. Don't call me that. Doo -doo -doo. All right, well, here we are. The great outdoors, or rather, on the street, just outside Dialtown's favorite institution of suited money, l money lenders. I hope she isn't too much longer. I think you'll find that she'll be the exact length and height she was when you last saw her. Bitch. Sorry, I probably kept you waiting a good 60 seconds. Don't apologize, good things are worth waiting for. So is vital surgery, keep in mind, and vital, vital surgery is hardly a trip to the fun fair. It can be if you put your mind to it. The survival odds are about the same anyway. You know, that's actually correct. Horrifying. Anyway, sorry for that minute wait, by the way. 
had to hand in my resignation. Resig one now? Well, you told me to grab my things and bail because I hated my job, so I did. Now I'm no longer an employee of the DTCB. The so you know what I meant was... I didn't mean to leave, leave your... Are you seriously about to tell me that I quit my full-time job because of communication error? Sure! Where, where did you get that onion from? <laughs> it's my cringe onion. I bite in it to relieve dramatic tension. I am a hundred more percent tense <laughs> thanks to you doing that. Oh yeah, the onion doesn't erase the tension, but merely passes it on to another person. The onion did its job. Right, yes. Anyway, you sure typed up that resignation quick. Yeah, I had it practically rehearsed. This is the sort of thing I normally just fantasize about obsessively. Wanna see it? I, I can't really. I'm not that literate. Oh, don't worry. I doubt that'd be a problem. I, I don't understand. Show me. Short and sweet. I liked it. Thanks. I made it myself. Well, whatever the case is, I'm now employed and free to do whatever it was that you wanted to do today. Right, so what was that anyway? Oh, r r right. Damn it, Nox. Karen just quit her job because she thought you had a plan for something for you, fun for you two to do together. What do you need to improvise? If I could do that, I wouldn't have asked Karen back at it all. One ID is all you need, just enough to buy you time. So, where are we going? And what are we doing? I, uh. No! <laughs> this is the worst idea possible. Tent. Tent? My tent. Away, go now to tent. Oh dear. Karen. Please, I'm so sorry. I don't really know what's happening anymore. Oh god. How am I supposed to make her freaking follow her dreams as an artist? Like, step one was to make her quit her job, right? Now what? Now we're in the freaking tent. What's that gonna- how's that gonna help us? <laughs> Alas, my tent. Welcome to Casa de la Mi, Karen. It, uh... It certainly smells indescribable. Thanks, the main reason for that is because I live here. I guess... That explains exactly what the smell's compromised of. Equal parts you, park here, palm vapor, and swan lust. Four nouns I've never had to use sequentially until today. Forgive me if this comes up as rude, but have you ever cleaned this tent? Me, what do I look like? A workhorse? I've never seen a green horse, and I've seen lots of horses. Sorry, continue. Well, I used to get the kids in from the local playground to help me clean me lair. Before I got arrested for child abduction, that is. And yet, here you are, still amongst the well-adjusted citizens of society. But I didn't abduct those kids, it was all, uh... They followed me willingly, and when I pranced off playing a dashing kazoo solo. The jovial music clouded their judgment, they followed me of their own accord. My state-appointed lawyer managed to get those charges dismissed. Uh-huh. 
Then I uh, got startled and kind of sprayed all over the jury. Bad move, by the way. Or so I was told after. Yeah, generally not a good look. So the judge charged me with eight accounts of child labor law violations. Now I can't legally get too close to kids because I'm such a feral entrepreneur. Such is the life of Knox. Okay, since leaving the bank, I've learned that you live in a damp biohazardous tent and that you blatantly spat in the face of child labor laws. That's a really rude way of stating I'm a free spirit who's great with kids. <laughs> great at working to the bone, maybe. <laughs> I'm this... This close to leaving. No, wait. I haven't even shown you my knickknacks. Alright, then let's get this out of the way. These are my favorite scissors. I use them for miscellaneous cutting and dicing. Is that? That looks like blood on the blades. It's strawberry jam. I also use this baby for making sandwiches. Oh, I not just use a knife? The court deemed me unsafe around explosed blades on my own. Right, that was a can of worms I simply refused to open. You any got any other bad shit oddities to show me? I sure do. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has got the squash. Did you paint a face onto a butternut squash? Nah, it came pre-painted. Would you like some Scott lore? Scott lore? Scott lore? I'm sorry, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Scott lore. Sure, I mean, well now I'm enthralled. So this is Scott, the all-knowing and all-hating Swash. He knows everything and hates all of it. Right. Please don't touch him. I'm a simple squash-fearing man. Well, he's the most terrifying vegetable I may have seen to date. I'm glad we're unified on this topic. This is an unholy entity. You thought of calling for an exorcist? With my typewriter head? Alright. Oh, I don't know, write a letter? Do I look fully literate? Never hurts to learn. And practically domesticate myself? Hard pass. Besides, I'm sure attempting to exercise the tent would just anger the squash. Somehow, I believe that. You don't seem to be enjoying yourself. No, see, this is all very amusing. But now the squash is giving off ominous and malevolent vibes, like it doesn't want me here. Hmm, perhaps we should have left this place alone. <laughs> okay, we maybe ditch the squash and continue this discussion at another location. Okay, good point. We can go somewhere else. Like... Well, we could always go to you. My place is off the table. What? Don't ask. Just make another suggestion, please. How about the zoo? There we go. It's been ages since I've been there. Oh, right. Me too. That is a civilian, anyway. Did you work there? I was one of the acts. What? You were one of the exhibits? I... Come on, let's just go, eh? Well, here we are, Karen. Man, it's been years since I've been here. Do they still have animals here? The last I heard. Splendid, that's the best thing about zoos. Now let us... 
Oh my gosh, it's this bitch. Oh, what's this? Oh no. Fuck, oh god, not you. I'm sorry, Nox. Do you know him? Nox, you feral bastard. My phone god, it's been months. How goes you? The roar, Russell Belt. My former captor and arch nemesis. Am I to take this as confirmation that we're going ahead with the Nox came from the zoo arc? It is what it is, Carbo. It is what it is. Nox, come home. I can offer you the luxury hay pile. No. I am a free man now, Theo. I am a person. Don't be daft. This is your home, Nox. You belong here, Mon Cher. I do not. I belong in my tent at an undisclosed location. And that location is the park, is it not? Who, who told you? Oh, I, I saw you emerging from your tent last time I visited the park. I stroll its foliage abundant grounds occasionally. For all the sorts of fancy vermin contained here, we have nary a duck nor swan, forcing me outside our perimeter to merely observe them. And nary a you too. Come home, son. Boy, this would have been a... Hush now, woman. Nox, you must be contained, studied, dissected. Hang on just a moment. Hush now, woman. Oh, now, don't be hysterical, it's just, uh... I'm not letting anyone dissect my boyfriend, except for, like, maybe myself if the stage doesn't get substantially better. Ooh, I'm your... boyfriend? Well, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to end this off here. I know I don't normally end things off in the middle of the action, but... I'm getting tired of editing hour-long videos, and I don't think they're particularly... Basically, I have ADHD and a short attention span, and I wouldn't watch an hour video, so why would anyone else? <laughs> so I'm gonna end this off here, and in the next episode, we're basically gonna see Karen rightfully telling this stupid piece of crap off. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys then.